wet my whistle. Day off tomorrow. So I'm having a beverage. Now you guys probably have a memory of Spain, like roving mountains and hills, sunlit uplands, sangria, nice beaches, tapas, right? Lovely stuff, okay? I've never been to Spain, believe it or not. So my only real memory of Spain is from primary school, when I was like seven, six. I did this stupid play at primary school. Boy and a girl got matched together, and I was already anxious from being matched with my crush, Jennifer Thompson, and she had to dress up as like, some flamenco dancer with maracas and all that and the, the, the lad, the boy, he had to dress up in a suit with like a sash and pretend to be some sort of matador. It was bonkers. So there we were, a group of seven-year-olds in a sports hall at primary school. We all had to dance to that song by Sylvia. This year I'm off to sunny Spain. Le viva la España, or however it freaking goes, I don't know. Then some kid at the front called Darren Bennett pissed himself because Miss Harvey wouldn't let him go to the toilet during our performance. It was bonkers. Yeah, that's my memory of Spain. Traumatised seven-year-old. Which wasn't very pleasant, was it, Muggs? Well, you don't know, because you weren't alive then. Were you? You hadn't even been born. You weren't even a twinkle in your father's eyes when I was seven. So today I thought we'd go Spanish-ish. I don't think this is a, like a traditional Spanish recipe. So Spanish-ish. We're gonna make like a little meatball stew with some veggies in there. We're gonna put some peppers, garlic, chili. And we'll add some beans in there as well because they're nice and nutritious. Best of all, it's cheap. Which is the theme of this channel at the minute. Because thanks for the people that are in charge. No one's got any money anymore, have they? But listen, before we crack on and make it, do the usual thing, like, share, subscribe. Get this video out there, show it to your friends and family and also the people in need. It's cheap, it's easy, it's gonna make your belly happy. Let's crack on. Let's go. Quick little rundown of the ingredients, which will all be listed in the description below this video as well. Got some cheapo pork mints, I think that was about two pound 50. Cannellini beans, like I said before. Couple of tins of tomatoes. Got some, some red onion as well. Peppers, bit of red chili. Smoked paprika. Gonna use a bit of olive oil, bit of salt and pepper. And, oh yeah, garlic as well. So it's a really, really simple little stew, this. It's gonna take no time at all. But what we need to do first is make the meatballs. So, first things first. You pork mince into a bowl. Okay, take the meat nappy off. You don't wanna eat that. Well, you wanna eat any nappy, to be fair. Especially if it's been used. And I'm gonna first hit it with some salt, plenty of black pepper, and a good old couple of teaspoons of smoked paprika. Come on. Don't play with me. You could put some herbs in there if you want, like parsley, some dried oregano, some sage if you like. Okay, add what you like. I don't think sage is particularly Spanish, but we're keeping it simple today. So literally just get your hands in there, mix it all together. And it should resemble something you'd find in a biohazard bin at the back of the hospital. And then it's just a case of rolling the mixture up into meatballs. Not rocket science, is it? Into a sort of small golf ball size, I'd say. So there's the meatballs all done. Got one, two, three, four, five, so I can't be bothered. Got a bit of a runty one there because I didn't have enough mixture, so I just made a small one. But pop these in the fridge for a bit. They'll sit there until you're ready to use them and they'll firm up just slightly, which will stop them falling apart in the pan. So while the meatballs are sitting and resting in the fridge, we can get on and do some, oh shit. We can get on and do some prep. And it's very simple, just peel the onion, get it finely diced. I'm gonna take the pepper as well, take out that core, and I'm gonna slice that into strips. The garlic as well, just give it a bash, peel off the outside paper, and then just slice that nice and thinly. I'm gonna add a bit of spice, if you're not too keen on that, if the kids are not, not into a bit of chili, leave it out. I'm gonna chop one of these up nice and fine. I'm probably gonna leave the seeds and membrane in, because I want a bit of extra kit today. Just feeling it. Okay, so now that everything's prepped, we can start cooking, make a bit of dinner. Here's our lovely little meatballs. I'm gonna add a good glug of olive oil to this pan. On with the gas, and as it starts to get nice and hot, we'll go in with the meatballs. Not forgetting our little runt. And all we're looking for at this stage is a bit of color. Goes without saying, you want a bit of color on your balls. Once you've got a little bit of color on there, just take them out of the pan, and sort of stick them into a bowl to one side, and turn the heat down nice and low. And then straight in with your onions and pepper, and keeping your pan on a low heat, just saute them off. You know the drill by now, it's just so they start to go soft. And as they release a bit of water, it's gonna lift off all the fond from the bottom of the pan. And whilst the onion and peppers 
are sizzling away. I'm going to get my tomatoes into a bowl. These are whole tomatoes. If you're using chopped, you won't need to do this step. Bro, the tomatoes! <laughs> you cannot possibly like tomatoes. You are getting into a bit of a habit at the minute, aren't you? I think because I keep giving in to you and feeding you, you think just by meowing at me it's going to work. It bloody does, doesn't it, obviously. <laughs> get your mitts in there and give them a good old smoosh around. Weird sort of feeling that. Sky, ah, I know it's got like serial killer vibes. I don't know. The onion and pepper is coming along nicely, so in with the in with the chili and garlic. Give that like 20-30 seconds, just until it sort of smells fragrant. But don't burn the garlic, because if you do that, it's game over. It's going to taste bitter and rancid. I'm going to add another couple of teaspoons of smoked paprika. We really want to ram home that that sort of smoky vibe. I mean, it's smelling fantastic already. You could whack that dry mix on some toast if you want. Top it with a poached egg. Nice little breakfast, that. Now I'm going back in with the meatballs. And the chopped tomatoes as well. In we go. And we know the score. Give it a good old smoosh around. And then keeping the heat nice and low, I'm going to stick a lid on that. And let that bubble away nice and gently for, I'd say, 20 to 25 minutes. The sauce is going to reduce nice and thick, but if it's too thick, you can always add a bit of water at the end. Just until the peppers are nice and soft, the meatballs are cooked through, that sauce is nice and thick, and then we're almost there. Almost. Right, so we're not far off now. It's been about 25 minutes. It's thickened up a little bit, but not too much, so I don't think we need any water in there. But now I'm going to add my beans. I've drained these off as well. I'm going to just chuck those in. Stir those through. You could use like butter beans if you want, pinto beans, haricot beans, obviously not baked beans, red kidney beans. You could use like a mixture. Entirely up to you. So we're going to taste it for seasoning, see if the sauce needs any salt and pepper. As perfect as it is. Oh, it's got a feckin' kick to it. And it's entirely up to you how you serve it. You could have it with a mash, you could have it with rice. But what I'm going to do is going to serve it into a nice deep bowl. I'm going to slice up some nice bread to have on the side with it as well. This bit's completely optional, but I'm going to top mine with a bit of grated manchego cheese. It's a nice cheese from Spain. It's quite light in flavour, but it's got a slight nutty taste as well. And then it's ready to go. You can lay that on the table for your family to enjoy. Or you can do what I did, and that's just enjoy mine while staring out the window and people watching. I like to do that. Well, there we go, look, there's my Spanish-inspired, Spanish-ish thing meatball stew. You saw how easy it was. That came together in like 30 minutes real time. Well, actually more like two hours for me because filming food videos, it's not easy. It takes a long time. But for you, the home cook, 30 minutes or so, you're going to have dinner on the table. And it's tasty, it's delicious. So let me know in the comments, did you like my Spanish and Spice stew? And if there's any other meatball recipes you want me to try, leave them down below as well. But I'm going to shoot off, I'll leave you guys to it. Before I go though, do the usual thing, like, share, subscribe, thank you very much. Share this to your friends and family and of course the people in need. Nice easy budget recipe this, get it made. I'll see your gorgeous faces next time, bye for now.